Good morning, girls. You were sleeping under the apple tree. Oh, you just missed it. The turkeys were drinking out of the water nipplers. That's a good sign. I can't get over how thick the grass is on this side of the pasture. There it's not. Up there it's not, and over here it's not as much. And those are the areas we haven't run the tricking tractors as hard as we have over here in the past. It's really nice to see the progression and the difference between the areas where we've run the chicken tractors more and the areas we haven't. And even in the areas we haven't run the chicken, chicken tractors that much. The grass has grown a lot better than it was when we first bought the property. Moose. You're not supposed to be in the road, Pluto. How are you guys doing this morning? Your water looks good. Still got enough food for the day. Getting all dirty, mister. No, you can just see the speckles of the dirt on him. Crazy cat. See, that's why the ducks don't like Pluto, but they like us. Nice sweatshirt. Really? You know you got a holy knee? Yeah. Okay. You gotta help me with the milk in Figaro. I haven't seen a big increase with her milk production since I started giving her the herbal supplement. But I'm gonna keep giving it to her for a while and see what happens. I think a lot of it is that she wasn't hand milk until we got her, and at that point, She'd already had the kids for nine or ten weeks. So, what I found out is you should start hand milking like two weeks after the kids are born. And some people start milking right away to help increase the milk production of your goat. So, I'm assuming her milk production never got brought up. And that's why we're getting the amount we're getting. <clears throat> we had a change in weather overnight. I don't know if it's going to happen at a better timing for us. It's like fall is in the air. So over in this area right here, we want to extend the goat pen. So we got to clean up this brush. I'm waiting for some heavy equipment to get delivered so we can get in there and get that cleaned up. I'm hoping I don't know when, but I'm hoping within a week it'll be here. So we gotta get that area cleaned up so we can get in there with the equipment when it shows up. Now I must admit, I am terrible at maintenance on my small engines. I just normally try to run the gas out.
I need a new blade. That one's pretty dull, but it's what we got for now. So they weren't able to get the dozer in here and smooth everything out and fill in some holes like this. It's a lot deeper than it looks on the camera. The camera kind of flattens it out. But I gotta get in here and we get the piece of equipment here, clean this up, clean up over here. I'm gonna leave a lot rocks like that. Like that for the goats. And I'd like to get some more over here for the goats. And I'd also like to clean up this back area. Stop piling up all the brush for now. Push the rain. Don't try that at home. That lady's been bugging me though, ever since we lived here. Oh, I couldn't leave it. The top branches are all intertwined. That's what's giving me the trouble. And what's hanging it up. Got to intertwine that main one.
Figure I was out there on a high vantage point hunting. Can you see him out there? Crazy cat. Oh, wonder what he's got. Now we had the four acres clear cut. We had a lot of people saying, I can't believe you're not doing that yourself. Let me show you something. So just this small area right here, we cleared up a little bit and it wasn't even that bad. Cut down two pieces of apple tree there and a little more. And that's the brush pile from it. Yep. So with having the loggers come in, they clean up all that brush, they chip it. They turned it into wood chips, and the wood chips got burnt to make electricity for the local area. So I think that's a win-win all the way around. What are you doing? Did you eat something? <sighs> I decided I wanted to make some egg noodles tonight for dinner. So we need half a cup of raw goat's milk, or that's what we're using anyways. Eggs. Add Gonna add that to our flour. Dehydrated mushrooms and onions that have been reconstituted in chicken broth. Now you can. I like using leftover chicken and our chicken marsala. Oh, 
Patrick, come over here and try to see what I did for the day. Wait, I saw this, something here. I already did, then I, then I got distracted by my son. By the delicious food you smelt me cooking. I didn't see, I couldn't really see, but I saw the, something looked different over here. I saw that was came out. That's good. The squash plant looks so much bigger now. Yeah, it does. Because the trees came out to like here. Did that take you a long time? Uh, a few hours. I can't wait to finish up with this area of the yard, get it all cleaned up, and see what it looks like. We're excited for it. This is where we're going to end today's video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you right back here in the next one at Lumna Acres, the guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye.